This is Just Tool Basics, and today we're talking about flush cutters. Hello everyone, welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's topic is flush cutters, also called flush cut pliers or flush cutter pliers. And what these are designed for is unlike standard wire cutters, these have a flat ground bottom, which you can see there, where the edge comes to a pretty fine point flush with that bottom. And the point is that this allows you to, when cutting soft materials, these are almost always for soft materials, cut it very flush with whatever the surrounding surface is. So if it's a protruding wire, it cuts it flush with whatever it's protruding through. I generally use these for zip ties so that zip ties don't have that horrible skin gouging knife edge that happens when you use diagonal cutters or other cutting methodologies that don't cut it flush. And I'll do a quick demo of that. So I just grabbed this little piece of PVC for uh, some nice contrast and throw a couple zip ties on here. Now you can actually I'll put a third one on. Now anything cuts through zip ties, right? Let's let's not even talk about people who cut their zip ties at an angle like that that makes them extra sharp. But let's say you're trying to cut it reasonably flush. So that's with a pair of shears. Scissors work similarly. And a pair of like lineman's pliers. Cut those as flush as we can. And then we'll use these flush cut pliers to get those as flush as we can. So you can see the difference is pretty distinct. Once you're talking about with uh, shears or scissors or, or anything else, it almost necessarily sits proud of the surrounding surface. And that's because the cutting jaws are sturdier for cutting harder materials beyond zip ties and copper. In order to support that jaw, there's more material in the cutting jaw, so it doesn't sit flush with the outside face of the pliers. And with shears or scissors, you know, you have two interacting sides, and there's no way to make those sit exactly flush with anything. Whereas the flush cut pliers, they're able to sit quite flush with what you're trying to cut. The magic of flush cut pliers too is you can come along and fix poorly cut zip ties and make them all beautiful and flat and not gonna cut your arms open when you rub against them. I cannot recommend highly enough you get yourself a pair of flush cut pliers. They can be very cheap these were, I think, $6. They, they don't need to be fancy as long as you're careful and don't use them against materials that they're not designed for. I use these, like I said, pretty exclusively with zip ties. One thing you do want to keep aware of is sometimes for the very cheap ones, they don't come with a return spring. And since these are tiny, wrapping your fingers around so that you can reopen them is a pain in the butt. So having them spring-loaded so they just kind of stay in your hand worth the extra dollar or whatever it costs to, to find them with the spring. There are fancier ones that are rated for harder materials. Uh, I think I've seen them where they're designed to like flush cut brad nails and things like that. I don't use them for that. If I needed to punch down a brad nail, I'd use a nail set or something like that. So yeah, cheap ones are fine. They work great. Just you got to use them for what they're designed for. Plastic. Until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.